The other thing I wanted to mention to you, just to keep in mind, is that of all the, the life events which have uh, influenced the, the evolution of life on Earth, probably the one that has remained most constant is gravity. Uh, the photo period, that is the amount of light coming uh, to the surface of the Earth has changed. The uh, number of hours of light have changed. The quality of light has changed. But gravity has remained relatively constant. And so all organisms have evolved under this 1G or close to 1G sort of environment. And as a result, there are many questions you can ask with regard to uh, the removal or microgravity, which is not total removal of gravity, from the life cycle of an organism and ask how it does influence it. And this is probably very important with regard to long-term uh, trips, uh, say to Mars, where you're going to be without a gravitational field for a long time. Uh, how does that influence the development? And in the case of plants, just as an aside, and I won't go on to this at length, what we find is that the uh, chemicals, the structure which actually gives the plant support on Earth in a microgravity environment actually lessens because the plant does not uh, need to have so much structural support. And so these are the kinds of experiments that students can run easily just with regard to microgravity to say nothing of changing the quality of the light or looking at molecular events. So I'm gonna stop there. I could go on probably for too long, but I'll stop there and I'll be glad to answer any questions or continue a discussion if you'd like.